Hello. I kind of got a mukbang thing going on here today. I got hot buffalo wingless, like uh, buffalo burning hot wings from Wing Street. And a cheesy gordita crunch from Taco Bell. I got the points for it, so I was just like, yeah, you know what? Why not? And I just got my booster, and I'm feeling fine. We'll see in about 10 or 11 hours, because I remember the first time I got um, vaccinated, and I was fine for the first 10 to 11 hours on the second one. And then that's when it hit me, and I was at work too. And so that, ooh, that was quite a ride. Ooh, this shit is hot. It's burning my legs. But yeah, so today I actually wanted to talk about jobs and just a few, well, not few. Like, I've, I've only had four jobs in my life so far. Currently looking for another one. So my first job was at a sales, was a sales associate at DG. I remember when I was younger and the name, the term associate was so intimidated to me because I thought it was something important. Turns out it's literally just the person who works at the store. Scorching. Second job I had was a brand associate at ON. Third job was a receptionist at CP, something I still do once a week. And my fourth job was a supported living coach at QV. For reasons, I'm not saying the um, name of the places, but I mean, if you can figure it out, you can figure it out. That's fine. So, the very, the very first time I had a job was as a sales associate at GG. I should have known what I was getting myself in. Like, I not that I didn't know, but like I didn't realize. Because even though I didn't live that far from my original job, I didn't realize the area around it was so bad. Because, like I said, I don't live that far from where my first job was. And I didn't realize how big the area was that I worked in. And so, I got there, did my orientation, my training, which is literally just watching some videos. Because... That's how people train people now. They don't actually train them. And then every day on the job is you just learning what to do because again, they don't train you properly. So, first day wasn't too terrible because I was literally just training. Um, however, once I was done with the videos, my manager at the time had the absolute stones to tell me to clean up a spill with no gloves. So the reason that I said it had the absolute stones to do this was because when I got to that concoction that was in that bucket, literally just standing next to it at the height I am, which is 5'2", literally just standing next to this bucket burned my eyes. And this person wanted me to put my bare hands in there to clean up a spill. I was just like, we don't have gloves. They're just like, oh, you don't need gloves. Don't you use cleaning supplies at home and I was like yeah but this thing is literally burning my eyes by standing next to it I'm like if my eyes are burning from a bucket on the floor filled with chemicals and my eyes are legit burning not like a little tear like this shit stung I was crying legit 
and they wanted me to put my bare hand in there to clean up a spill. No, get me gloves. So I had them go get me gloves because, again, that's madness. Second day I worked there, at the beginning of my shift, I cried because the customers were so awful. I worked at that job for almost seven months. The entire time was hell, or what I would consider what people, excuse me, um, what's the word, describe hell to be. Like, the people in the surrounding area are so disrespectful and so bigoted. Like, there were times where I would have a yellow um, box cutter in my pocket. Because we had orange ones that didn't come out all the way. The yellow one was the only one that came out all the way. And because the store is so much about profit, they literally, most days, only had two people on the floor, which is me who was a cashier 100% of the time, even when I was expected to like go around the area and like do um, merchandise recovery and merchandise restock, I'm, I was supposed to be cashier, do customer service, restock, and make sure the store was good to go. I had, so in the time that I worked there, we cycled out six different employees Three of them being managers, because that place was just so bad. And every day I went in there I was just like, this is to get me through college. Because I'm just like, I couldn't quit because I'm just like, oh, I got, I got to put myself through college. Like, I had already, at that point, taken out a lot of student loans. I started paying out of pocket because I'm just like, I can't, like, I can't keep taking student loans. They're not coming fast enough and it's not enough. So... Back to the yellow box cutter. The reason I kept that one on me is because it opened all the way out. And I was to my point where I was like, this could be the difference between me going home or not. Because I didn't realize the area was not safe. Because again, I don't live in the area. I just work there. And so I was learning that just by working there. I'm just like, the, the area is not a good area. It's a really bad area. Um, there were some awful things that happened while I was working there that I was just so grateful but also traumatized by like grateful that it didn't happen to me personally but also traumatized to have seen and heard about it because I'm just like this area is where murders happen and where drug deals happen and where drug overdoses happen and all that and it's really unfortunate and like I used to have I remember I had a dream that I worked a full shift morning to night then when it was time for me to leave I walked out of the door and it brought me right back in the store to a morning shift to work over another full shift again and I woke up feeling such dread that th that was going to be the rest of my life and I was like I need to get the hell out of here and so I was just like I waited until the semester was over because I'm just like I still need to pay for this semester and have shit done for the semester but it doesn't matter if I find another job or not in May because at the time it was like whatever like I was like in May 
I'm leaving. I let them know real quick. I'm just like, this is my two-week notice, just so you know. I'm like, whatever happens, happens. I managed to find another job before I quit, thankfully, but... The pay for pain, it wasn't worth it. It wasn't worth the trauma, the disrespect, the PTSD. I'm not joking about the PTSD. I'm not even exaggerating. I wish I was. There, there are certain things that people don't understand that they do to other people. And they think that, oh, it was just most likely it was the worker's fault when it wasn't. What made it really difficult was a lot of the people who were customers there lived in the area so they were repeat customers like literally every day like clockwork they would come in at the same time for the same thing and so because um it was a low income area with people who were like living off the government and stuff and not really working they had time and I am in no way bashing people who have to live off government assistance because that's what the programs are there for, to help people who can't afford to live off of what they get paid or they don't have jobs. But there are also people who live off of it because they can. And this area is heavily those types of people. And I say that because it's just like, obviously you can't just tell someone, <clears throat> tell who someone is just by looking at them. But these people for sure, a good majority, even if not all of them are, a good majority of them um, are the people that people are worried about when they're just like, oh, they're taking advantage, they don't even need to. But it's just like, well, they're getting government assistance so why would they better themselves and I very much believe in the place does not make the people the people make the place and if you're confused as to what I mean by that a good and easy understanding example is gentrification where people go into low income neighborhoods start building things that uh, higher income people would want to be around and then all of a sudden they get pushed out and rent gets higher and this and that and yeah so the place does not make the people the people make the place um for now that's all I have to say about that I was kind of all over the place shouldn't have been eating but yeah that's all I got for you that's it <laughs>